morning guys i'm doing the, i'm doing the looking left and right together again so weird okay so i've got a really cool um video for you guys today um you guys seem to really enjoy the blues song that i did before so i've got another one for you um a couple things i want to address first i noticed in the last couple videos i did that um there was like this weird noise in the background. Sometimes it sounded like a bullfrog. So I just want to let you know, it's actually my dog. He always is right beside me under a blanket sleeping. And he snores so loud. And it comes through on the video. So if you guys are ever hearing that like really kind of obnoxious, sorry, my sweatshirts are always, my hoodies are always kind of like, Flopping around. I'm not really sure what to do about this. It's always opposite in the... Okay. Anyway. So, um, yeah. So, that noise, that really weird noise that you hear in the background. Yeah, that's my dog snoring. It's just not like my stomach or some weird noise coming out of my body. It's... <sighs> anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's one thing I wanted to address. Um, was that it? I think so for now. Oh, the other thing is, is I, t I tend to like pause a lot or be at a loss for words, which is really weird because I have a pretty vast voc vocabulary and, um, I can, I generally can express myself pretty well. Um, something about this camera makes me seem stupid. <laughs> I mean, it really does. Um, like I was watching yesterday's video back and I'm like, yeah, use words like social injustice and discrimination and humiliation. And, and I didn't do any of those things. And I'm watching it back going, oh my God, you sound like an idiot. Like, you know, absolutely nothing about what people go through. Um, when quite the contrary, because I went through all of it as a kid. Anyway. We're going to push all that aside, and that's why today I'm just going to do a light video. I'm going to give you like three sentences on the history of this man, and then we're just going to do a feel-good, just blues video, um, and that's it. So um, we are going to do When the Hurt is Over. Um, it's one of those songs that you're going to watch me just totally like zone out and get into. It's just one of those types of songs. Um, by Mighty Sam McLean, and uh, God, it's just such a cool song. Now, Sam McLean was or originally from Monroe, Louisiana, but he left home at like, uh, I want to say like 13 or 14 years old. Um, uh, he followed a... Uh, it was a blues guitarist at the time. Um, I want to say it was like... Anyway, he followed him as his valet at first. Um, and then by the time he was 15, he was the lead singer. I want to say it was like the Chitlins tour or something like that. Um, and then he ended up in like Pensacola, Florida, and he was playing clubs there. And then from there, he went to um, Nashville. He spent the majority of his recording... Uh, of, uh, almost 15 years in um, Nashville and New Orleans. Then um, he migrated up north into my neck of the woods. Um, actually, he was in New Hampshire, um, and the, he was on, I want to say, two different labels up there. This is another one. I don't know if it's a trend with, with soul and blues artists where they just change labels all the time. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's because they're travelers and and they kind of do that. But anyway, yeah, he ended up in my neck of the woods. Um, and he ended up settling down in New Hampshire. And that's where he stayed until he passed away. Um, but this song came off of the... Um, let me think for a minute. I want to say, I know that he was with Audio Quest Music because him and Joe Harley, which was a producer, that's where he met Joe Harley. And him and Joe Harley, by 
um, actually ended up opening up or, or their own label um, in the very end. Like he didn't have, he went independent and he, he took, when he left the label that he met Joe Harley on, um, he then took, it's like he stole him and he took Joe Harley with him on, I think like the next two labels. And then in the end, him and Jim, Joe Harley ended up opening their own label. I said, I wasn't going to get too much into it. I just want to figure out which album, uh, I think it's sledge sledgehammer soul and down home blues. I think that's what out al what album this one came out on. So I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, please put it down in the comments. Um, and if there's any, if you guys like blues, I can listen to blues all day long. And I've had a poll up there on the, like the last four videos I've done saying, Hey, if you guys want me to react to a certain genre, please tell me what genre you would like. Um, or if there's a certain song that you think is important or a certain, um, social issue that you think is important, put it down in the comments. Um, so that way, you know, we can do it, you know, cause I'm here for you guys. So without further, further ado, we are going to do mighty Sam McLean doing when the herd is over. Thank you. 
our chance We work things out We both will know What love is all about Don't move so quick Oh, don't move too fast If you got a good love Oh, you ought to try and make it bad I know I hurt you Lord, you broke my heart And now we are sad, baby Because our love is a part <laughs> That is why I say to you The only thing That I know The only thing, baby I said, when the hurt is over, baby, Lord, when all the pain is gone, oh, Maybe I will learn how to love again, y'all. When the hurt is over, over. Lord, when all the pain is gone Lord, when all the pain is gone Maybe love will flow When all of that pain is gone Okay, so there you go. Um, I got like, I still got the, all the like aches because I was holding myself back from like really going. So, like, my hands are like aching and stuff. So, the song has three things that kind of catch you right throughout the whole song. One is his voice. He's got that, that, I think to be like a true like blues or soul artist, you got to have that like voice that just like catches you. People who have that type of voice today are like, uh, number one one is like Chris Stapleton. People keep saying, um, I don't believe, and I'm one of them. I don't believe Chris Stapleton is a true country singer. He, they keep throwing him in this country you know, category, but if you hear Chris Stapleton, especially in some of his earlier things, that boy is true blues. I mean, he just has that kind of voice. You have to have that kind of voice. Secondly, did you hear that piano in there? It was just like wicked, kind of like, oh, hitting those keys. And then that guitar was just, and, and the bass, just like, and the bass lines and the guitar, and it was just like, so you, normally you will have one or the, I mean, you always have the vo voice, but generally sometimes the voice will fall out and allow the guitar to have the, that wicked solo, 
or the piano will have, you know, they'll have their things separately, but not in this song. In this song, I don't know why I'm spitting everywhere today. In this song, all of them are going all at once. So it's constantly got you going and you're vibed up the entire time. That's my point of view. It might not be yours. If it's not yours, tell me it's not yours. If you thought the song sucked, you can tell me your opinion. I might tell you something different. But hey, everybody's entitled to their opinion. So, I forgot to tell you. The song was recorded late. I usually give you old songs, and this sounds like it would be an old song, right? No, I think it was recorded in 96, 95 or 96. Um, so this is one of the newer songs. I, But I had to give it to you because we had to have a good day today. Right? So, you guys have a great day. And, hey, take care of each other because no one else is going to.